So as, as we know, we're consciousness creating reality, right? We know that. We know that we're a consciousness. We know that we create reality. Uh, I know that I can slow time down and I can speed time up. Does, any, does anyone know, uh, you know, at the gym, do you know what a plank hold is where you're basically got your elbows on the ground and you're lying like that? Who, who knows um, what a plank hold is? Yeah. Well, when I do one of those at the gym, um, time slows down. Like a minute can take forever. And I also know that, uh, you know, when I'm, I'm doing these talks, I can't seem to get anything done in less than uh, about an hour and a half. Uh, your time seems to just speed up. And so I know that I'm consciousness creating. I know that I can speed time up. I can slow it down. I can have a different relationship with how it is. I know that it, it can, I can be in a beautiful sunny location and uh, I, can, I can create, uh, you know, myself feeling upset and angry. And I know I can be in a crappy, rainy, you know, wet, cold and have the best time. Uh, I know that I'm consciousness creating. Who else knows that? Like you actually realize that uh, reality is out there but, and you live in a different world. You're consciousness creating that. It's a very important thing to understand because our first four choices uh, the core choices help us to, to shift into that understanding really in living that we love our life, that we're the predominant creative force, these sort of things. So it's, it's really important to get that is that there's these two worlds here. There's the world that we call outside of us, outside of this physical vehicle. And then there's this invisible world that we all live in. And, and so we're, we're creating, we make choices and through choices, we create our reality, which is our outer world, I guess. And, and we've got to understand that as we're doing this, there's a very important mechanism that is, is causing this to exist. It, it's, uh, it's really crucial to get that there is a mechanism. There is a way that this reality is turning into the reality that you are. And by understanding what, what we're going to go through today, you, you will learn how to have the reality that you could choose you know like you you will actually be able to go well this is the one that i would like out of all the possibilities because if no one's told you you are actually uh allowed to have the life that you choose like you actually are allowed that you don't have to live in obligation or struggle or uh upset or anything you don't have to you're actually allowed you are you're allowed to and so we're consciousness creating in every single moment. Now, the, the best metaphor for us to understand is that we, we live in a river of time. So time is going to keep on flowing. It's going to keep on moving. And as it's moving, we get to decide where we float to along that river. And what we must understand is wherever we want ourselves to float to, it's about the structure that we're in. The structure of the riverbed, the structure of the aqueduct determines where that water is going to flow. And that's what you must understand is that you must structure yourself in a way that the flow happens to, to where you want to go. But most people don't. Most of us end up being very, very, very weak creators. Very weak, very powerless creators and never truly are able to choose where they're going to get to. And they end up in all sorts of places, upset places, illness, sickness, you know, married to, to people they don't want to be married to and jobs they don't like. They, they end up in all these things, bodies, shapes they don't love. And they don't have to. And then they complain about it as though somehow it just turned up without them doing it. It's like, well, how did you end up in the marriage with that person? And, you know, no one was there grabbing your hand and putting that food in your mouth. So well, how did I end up here? Well, there's a structure behind it. And, and so there's two structures that we can, we can really live in. And I want to just jump in with an example straight away. One structure, as we know, is the creative structure. Well, they're all creative structures, but we call it the creative structure. This is where you're completely focused on what it is that you want to create. And then there's a couple other structures you can be in. You can be in an oscillating structure or a stuck structure. So let me, uh, let, let's have some examples of this. So 
Can everyone type in one thing that you do not want to experience? Just one thing you do not want to experience. It's only for an example. Yeah, so what's something you don't want to experience? Someone's someone's written in death. Well, you're not going to experience that. You're gonna you're gone. So something you don't experience. Like I don't want to experience being upset about this or tired or or being abused or being broke or having a job I hate or you know, you get it. Yeah. Being robbed in a snake pit. Yep, I like that. Bankrupt. All right, cool. So, so got it. So you just, just whatever it is, something you don't want to experience. Divorce, frustrated with a computer, poverty. Yeah, these are good. So just one. All right, so. What I'd like you to do now is just, just close your eyes for a second, just uh, real quickly. And, and in your mind, think about that thing you don't want and resist it and resist it, resist it being there. So just close your eyes and just resist it being there. Just, just I don't want that and just focus on, on not wanting it. And ju just for 20 seconds, so that's not what I want. I don't want that. And I mean, really don't want it. Like go all in, like I really don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want it. Don't want it. Really resist it. Don't want it. And uh, really resist it. Like put your whole body into it, like your solar plexus, put your abdominals into it. I don't want it. And uh, when you're ready, come back. How did you feel when you're completely focused on what, on, uh, on the problem? Did, did the problem disappear? Yeah, did it disappear? And, and so I know the answer, obviously, it didn't disappear, did it? In fact, it might have even got bigger. It might have got bigger. The thing you didn't want might even have got bigger, yeah. So that, that's the problem structure. That is the stuck structure, okay? When you focus on what you don't want, you're stuck. You're going nowhere. Who felt like they're going nowhere? You went nowhere. You're just looking at what you don't want. Just looking at what you don't want. Nothing else. Just, I don't want that. Okay. So um, then what happens is, is some people advance out of that, but a lot of people just stay stuck in, in what they don't want. And... The reason why they're so stuck, it's basically like saying, I don't want to be in New York. They say, I don't want to be in New York. Okay, good. I'm glad you know you don't want to be there. Okay, good. But they don't go anything else. They never say what they do want. So a real subtle way of living in this structure is they just ne someone just never says what they do want. So just give me some examples. What's not in New York? So not in New York is uh, Texas. What's not in New York, Florida. What's not in New York on a plane. What's not in New York on a jet ski. What's not in New York, Sydney. What's not in New York, New Zealand. What's not in New York, space. What's not in New York, right? Million different things. So here's what happens is that, and, and we get it, right? We're, we're, not, we're not there. So what happens is the brain has to always check that it's not in New York. So just stick with me. Thanks for all the examples, but just stick with me. A bit of logic here. What is the one thing that must exist in order to not be in New York? What's the one thing? New York. The only thing that must exist is New York. So then you know that you're not in it. I want you to get that the the only thing to exist must exist is, is that place called New York so that you cannot be in it so this is if someone just can't be sick I can't be sick I don't want to be sick I don't want to be broke I don't I don't I don't the only thing that they that must exist in their world 
is the thing they don't want. It has to exist because in order to not be in it, you need to know what it is. Who's following this? Yeah. And this is very important. Don't want to be unhappy. Don't want to be broke. Don't want to be homeless. Don't, that must exist. Otherwise, you wouldn't know if you were in it. And so this is very important because most of us unconsciously are, are actually living in a, in a world where we're, we're focused on the, on the not. And since we're consciousness creating, well, that not has to exist. So it has to be there. And we have, in order for it to exist, we have to have some part of our consciousness has to be focused on making sure that when that it exists so that we're not in it. Right? So to avoid New York, New York must exist. To avoid what you don't want, what you don't want must exist. And you, we waste time focusing on it. Now, here's a big question. If you focus on being in, say, LA or Sydney, Australia or London, and you choose that's where you want to be, does New York just disappear? Not really. It's still there. But you are over in London. You're where you want to be. You're where you want to be. Does the possibility of being in New York disappear? No. But since you're cho choosing to be in London or be in Sydney or be in LA, where you're choosing to be, that's where you are. So you're choosing health or choosing rich or choosing happy or choosing this. Does the possibility of uh, getting into New York, does, does, is, is that still a possibility? Absolutely. But you're so focused on what you're choosing that you're not wasting time worrying about it. Does this make sense? So, so here's the second little exercise here. Because here's what some people do. Is when you're ready, we'll, uh, I'll do another little exercise with you. So just go ahead and close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I want you to think again about what you do not want that you wrote down before, I do not want that. And just focus on not wanting it and really choose to not want it. Like really, I don't want that, I don't want it. And now the second step is as you're not wanting it, now focus on what you do want. I don't want to be sick, I do want to be healthy. And focus on both at the same time. I don't want this, I do want that. I don't want this, I do want that. I don't wanna be broke, I do wanna be rich. And just focus on both and really put your whole body into both resisting and creating at the same time. Just for another five or 10 seconds, I don't want that. I don't want, I don't want that and I do want this. When you're ready, open your eyes, report back to me. How was that? What was that like? when you when you were looking when you had both confusing tension split focus it felt a little bit better did it not feel a little bit better a little bit better so if you were to guess when you're doing that like how much of your um, conscious creation was on each one? Was it 50, 50, 70, 30? Like how did you, how did you focus on it? I don't know. There's no right answer, by the way. It's just how, how you did. That doesn't matter. But, but did the thing you didn't want go away? Did the thing you didn't want just go away? No. Did the thing you want just be there? Kind of. So most people live in this structure. 
So this structure is called the oscillating structure. And the oscillating structure is, uh, is like a swing. You push it to one way and then it swings back. You push, it swings back. Push, swings back. Both have to exist. So this is when someone says, I really want to be in London. I don't want to be in New York. New York is a thing they have to keep on creating. I don't want to be there. And, they, and but it, so this, this um, fear of ending up there always lives inside of them. Does this make sense? The fear lives there. So they, they lose 10%, 20%, 30%, 50%, 70% of their conscious creative power. Does that make sense? Conscious creative power. They're, they're, they're using it up. You've only got so much, right? You've only got so much of it. Uh, and, uh, and you're using it up, focusing on the two things. This is how most people live their life. I do want, don't want, do want, don't want, don't, 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 do want. I want this, don't want that. Do. And so what happens is normally they get tired of this. It was, was it tiring? Can I, anyone there get tired of this? So they get tired. So they give up and they just end up in the middle. It's so hard to hold on to what they do want. And then it's so scary to be in what they don't want. So they end up in the middle. And this is the just enough world. You know, they have just enough money. They have just enough happiness. They like their partner just enough. They have their just enough body shape that they feel okay about. Everything's just, you know, it's, uh, it's just lukewarm. Is it true? Because it's chaos there. Oh, 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 oh. They do it for a while. This is exhausting. I'm not really getting nowhere. So I'll just have this. Who's seen this in, in other people? It's because of the structure. Yeah. And so for me, when it comes to finance and money, I lived in this structure for so long. I lived in it forever. And uh, don't want to, don't, 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 don't want that. Oh, so scared. Want this? Don't. And so there's there's a third way. And so so the first one when you just is stuck. The second so stuck is uh, when you're only focusing on what you don't want and you have no nothing else. Oscillating. You have both do want and don't want. Creative. Creative is the last one. Creative is the last one. And, and creative is where you get 100% energy on what it is you do want. Now, as I said before, by creating, I choose to live in London, it doesn't mean that New York just vanishes. Choosing to create abundance, it doesn't mean that poorness just vanishes. It just means that you, as a creative energy, aren't engaged in it. It's still there, it, sickness, uh, ill health, death, um, fear, um, war, it's still there. It's still there, you know. You can still go online and Google and there's a place called New York. It still lives there. It, people still live there. They go there. It's a heartbeat of the world. Like it's, it, you know, it's still there. But you are creating this and all of your energy is on it. And so your world is this, you're creating this. So let's let's just finish off the, the last piece of the exercise. So before you close your eyes, I just want you to consider what you wrote down, what you don't want, right? Whatever it was. And it's just a fun exercise. And so just whatever it is, I just want you to imaginally like erase that and cross it out in your mind and then ask yourself, okay, what would I, what do I want to create? And then just erase what it is you wrote down. So you might write down, uh, I don't want to experience being sick and lonely. So you just erase that. What do I do want? I want to be um, happy and healthy, whatever it is, right? Whatever, whatever it is, right? So just do that real quickly. And when you have, just close your eyes and step into what you do want. Step into what you do want. Focus 100% on what you do want. Engage completely in that end result. See it, feel it, notice it, put your whole body into creating what you do want. I choose the end result of, choose it, choose it in your mind, in your body, in your cells, choose it. This is what I choose. I choose this.
And as you choose it completely and fully, just ask yourself, well, what is it that I need to, to do, feel, let go of? What do I, what, what must I be? What must I do in order to move towards creating this? What must I do? And just notice what you might do to create that. And when, you, when you're ready, open your eyes and come back. How did that feel? How did it feel just to, just to choose? What did it feel just to choose? Yeah, just to be in one choice. Very good. So that's the that's where we want to be. So you already have a magnetic mind. But the way that you've set up your magnet is an is usually not in the correct way. Usually your magnet is set up to just look at what it doesn't want and continually create New York. Or sometimes you've got it set up, you know, half, half, 50, 50. So you're creating what you do and don't want. So you just end up in the middle looking at both these things. And what we must do is continually learn to put our focus completely on what we do want. And if we do that, it gives us the highest probability of that being the thing that exists. True? So why don't we do this? Why do we have all this other stuff? Well, we have all this other stuff because our brain, our unconscious, the, uh, this beautiful part of us, has gone through life and found things that hurt, found things that don't feel good, and has put all these warning signs about what we don't choose to experience. And so as we get into our creative choice, as we do step one, choose, step two, feel, step three, notice where we are, the unconscious is going to, well, actually, that reminds us of this, and that reminds us of this, and that reminds us of this. So as we get into choice, and we're fully focused, which is the first couple of steps, we're going to have everything else pop up, like the little gophers popping up into the football field, they pop up. And then what we must do is go, okay, cool, I'll treat that, I'll let go of that, I'll heal that, let go of that. So we can just stay completely focused on what we need to create. And, and by doing that, you change the riverbed to only flow to where you want to go. It only can go one way. There is no other option. That is what you're focused on. That is what you're creating. There is only one way it can go. There's no other option. And so we must remember that it's all about first intention. The structure that you're in is first intention. If your first intention is to solve a problem or to fix or to heal or, or to, 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 to do that, that energy is there. But if your first intention by the way, there's a secret in that word, intention. If there's a first intention on creating, and, and that's what you're going to have, and then noticing what's in the way, that's where the riverbed will flow. If the first intention is fixing or not being in New York, that's where it is going to go. So basically... You must focus 100% on what it is you want to create and let go of the rest. And you, you can never hear this wisdom passed down from others to me, to you enough. You can never hear it enough. 
you you only you, you can never be half a creator just like you can't be half pregnant you either are or you're not you're either creating and you're going for it in life you're all in or you're not that's it you're either going for it you're taking the action you're taking you're taking the steps to have that be or you're not and if you're not you're teaching every aspect of you that that uh, that you're not uh, this powerful creator and this is very important you just got to go for it and so what's going to happen to every single one of you on your journey as you go to be be a creator your unconscious is always trying to work against it and so you must always rise up refocus 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 let go refocus let go refocus let go we just must not give the power to anything but ourselves we can have it we can feel the way we want to feel right now we can feel that way in our quote successful end result and unsuccessful and you but but it doesn't doesn't mean you need to deny the now remember if you resist something it owns you just remember that if you resist it it owns you it, it you're you're its prisoner and so you, you know we just go you know what I, I can fail i can be sick i can be that and i can have a smile on my face and if you can truly get yourself to that place being broke unhappy single ill whatever and go i'd still have a smile on my face and i'd still be happy and then you say and then when i choose da, 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 to have abundance and health and, and i'd still be happy that's when that's when you open the wizard's gate that's the magnetic moment that's the that's it that's the wizard's gate it really is